This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. On Monday morning at the PTC User World event in Orlando, Florida, social media takes center stage, both online and on site. One of the first things you'll notice as you approach the registration area is this oversized monitor showing all the Twitter feeds coming from the show floor. That's a signal that PTC is taking the plunge into social computing, a term that the company officials are proud to say they first coined. Here's Jim Hempelman, the company's president and COO. It's not enterprise or desktop technology, it's much more of a sort of collective problem solving focused on a network of people working together. And more from Tom Shoemaker, PTC's VP of Solutions Marketing. Um, when we say social networking, we're not talking about using Facebook and using MySpace. Um, those have their own inherent risks of IP proliferation and all sorts of things that you know we don't want to get involved in and our customers won't know part of. What we're talking about is a secure, business-ready application. The first tangible proof of PTC's belief in social computing as a viable product development mechanism comes in the form of Windchill Product Point. In June of 2008, PTC announced a new product at our annual user conference. The product is Windchill Product Point. And you know, it caused a lot of excitement. A lot of people were talking about it. And it caused excitement for two main reasons. One, it's a brand new product. The second reason that it gained a lot of excitement is that it's built on a product from Microsoft called SharePoint. Now, SharePoint, Microsoft calls their infrastructure for collaboration. So that was very interesting for us to see the trend and to say, well, what can we do about that? Is there a way that we can take advantage of the traction that it's getting and produce a product that meets our customers' needs? So that's what we did. That is Windchill Product Point. It's a solution for product development that's built on top of SharePoint. Paul Hamilton, a developer from PTC CoCreate team, who's also a blogger, shares his thoughts. Things coming out with um, social product development, and um, it'll be interesting to see how, that's, uh, how that progresses. And um, certainly I think more and more, especially with some of these younger people, this seems to be a natural way of life for some of these people. And uh, can we bring that into product development? and? Uh, Make, uh, make, our, make our lives better and more productive, and uh, there's a lot of opportunities, I think, that for that, so it'll be interesting to watch. You might remember that just around the time Siemens PLM Software announced the inaugural release of Synchronous Technology in April 2008, PTC snatched up CoCreate, a company known for its direct modeling package called OneSpace. Siemens is forging ahead with the integration of direct modeling tools in its software packages most notably Solid Edge with synchronous technology. We now see that PTC is on the same path. Here's how direct modeling, or what PTC prefers to call explicit modeling, works in co-creates one space. PTC's classic history-based CAD system Pro-E will eventually take on many of the direct or explicit modeling characteristics partly inherited from co-create one space partly derived from PTC's own granite modeling engine itself. You'll get a hint of it in the upcoming release Pro-E Wildfire 5 in what PTC calls Dynamic Edit. But in a much later version, which the company's senior vice president of product management Brian Shepard says they're still working on in the lab, this is how you might edit geometry. So let's review. Siemens is getting ready to release Solid Edge with synchronous technology too. Autodesk is hard at work on Autodesk Inventive Fusion, which promises to be a hybrid parametric and direct modeling program. Pro-E, long respected as a pioneer in parametric modeling, is embracing direct editing. It seems to me among many CAD vendors, there's not only a move towards direct editing, but also a race to come up with a better form of direct modeling than one's own rivals. At this event, I was delighted to meet in person for the first time Josh Mings, who maintains the Solid Smack block. 
and asked him to make a guest appearance in this video, he, of course, graciously agreed. Well, guess what? Due to camera operator's error, that would be mine, we didn't get any usable footage. So, with apologies to Josh, this is Kenneth Wong, reporting from PTC User World Event for Desktop Engineering.